Notes from a Dead House by Fyodor Dostoevsky Passage from Chapter 1, The Dead House Only in prison did I hear stories of the most horrible, most unnatural deeds. The most monstrous murderers, told with the most irrepressible, the most childishly merry laughter. The memory of one parasite in particular will not leave me. He was of the nobility, served in the government, and to a six-year-old father was something of a prodigal son. His behavior was completely wayward, and he ran deeply into debt. His father tried to curb him, to reason with him, but his father had a house, a farm, was suspected of having money, and the son killed him, hungry for the inheritance. The crime was discovered only a month later. The murderer himself reported to the police that his father had disappeared no one knew where. He spent the whole month in the most depraved fashion. Finally, in his absence, the police found the body. A sewage ditch covered with boards ran the whole length of the courtyard. The body was lying in that ditch. It was dressed and neat. The gray head had been cut off and put back on the body, and the killer had placed a pillow under it. He did not confess. He was stripped of his nobility and rank and sent to hard labor for 20 years. All the time I lived with him, he was in the merriest, the most excellent of spirits. He was a whimsical, light-minded, highly unreasonable man, though not at all stupid. I never noticed any particular cruelty in him. The prisoners despised him, not for his crime, which nobody ever mentioned, but for his foolishness, for not knowing how to behave. In conversation, he occasionally remembered his father. Once, talking about the healthy constitution hereditary in his family, he added, My parent now, he never complained of any illness, right up to his death. Such brutal insensitivity is, of course, impossible. It is phenomenal. There is some lack in the man's constitution here, some bodily and moral defects still unknown to science, and not merely a crime. Of course, I did not believe in that crime, but people from his town, who supposedly knew all the details of his story, told me the whole case. The facts were so clear, it is impossible not to believe them. The prisoners heard him cry out once in his sleep at night. Hold him. Hold him. Cut his head off. His head. His head. Almost all the prisoners talked and raved in their sleep. Curses, thieves' jargons, knives, axes most often came from their mouths when they raved. We're beaten folk, they used to say. We're all beaten up inside. That's why we shout in our sleep.